I started cooking when I was 10. When I was 13, I started doing dinners out of my house. I moved to New York City to work when I was 16. Now I'm 18 trying to open my own restaurant. I was always a really artistic kid. I kind of saw cooking as like a new way to be creative and a new skill set to learn. So I first started doing these little dinners out of my house for like my mom's friends. Are these guys all the same price? Have a great day. Thank you. I think the hardest thing is separating myself from being the kid chef and from an actual career. Hold on, wait. Sorry, I got distracted by baby strawberries. Knowing that people are coming with a lot of preconceived notions about why I'm doing it or because of my age and all these things, that means I need to give them an even better meal. That's always been the driving force for me. It's this constant battle of pushing yourself to as far as you can go for a craft and not for recognition, not for money, not anything like that. The sole reason that you're pushing yourself is to kind of do this craft that you've chosen justice. How many you want to cook, Glenn? Uh, I think I just need two ducks. It's not probably the healthiest mentality to have of if you can't ever quite be satisfied. I'll work an 18 hour day and then I'll be like, I didn't do good enough, tomorrow I'll work 20 hours. It's a dream slash nightmare all together, but like an ex it's exciting. <laughs> The restaurant that I'm trying to open right now, I want it to feel like you're just eating dinner in my house like the people did when I was 13. These are slowly dried tomatoes with a clam broth. Yeah, every once in a while I'll like be like, this is a pretty ridiculous thing that's going on right now, but I think if I thought about that too much, I'd almost get scared of it. This is like everything that I've sort of dreamed about. Very few people get these opportunities. I can't just like give them up or like not do them justice.